So I finished cutting out all the pieces I already had. So a few days ago, I got some more pieces of wood. I got uh, two more nine mil sheets and a six mil sheet. I'm gonna find a plan sheet which has bulkhead three on it. Hopefully, it also has bulkhead eight and the centerboard case on it, because those are the three things that go on this piece of wood here. Here's some plans. Hmm. Oh, this one has bulkhead eight on it. It was the next sheet over. Maybe I'll just put both of these up on the wall. Where did I put my blue tack? Oh, here it is. Ugh. Let me just peel that. Oh, a little bit of blue tack. Oh. You don't eat it? What? Got the plans up. Had to move the some of the things, but oh, plans, 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 plans. There's only the rigging sort of thing that's not up, but plans. And in case you're wondering, there is a hook thing hanging out here. So, I'm in the middle of drawing all the things on sheet 4 here. And then I get to the rudder cheeks and the rudder blocking lowers and uppers and <clears throat> I look over on the plans and here is the uh, diagram for the rudder cheeks and everything but um, there's no real measurements here I mean there's measurements here for the length of the total rudder cheeks and the length from the base to where the tiller um, pin goes but there's not really any measurements to describe these curves or anything. And I assume that means that you're sort of like allowed to freehand it or whatever, something like that. But uh, I don't want to do that. <coughs> Excuse me, black lung. I don't want to do that because I might have to make it up. And what if I made it up wrong or something? I don't know. So <laughs> I took this sheet off the wall and uh, I scanned this section here. And uh, since it's uh, five to one, I blew it up five times. And uh, then I uh, printed it out again on several sheets of paper. And here it is right here. So, um, I'm just going to trace that onto the wood. I wonder if there's a better way to do it. I don't know. It seems pretty effective. You little beauty. So, we got bulkhead four here. And we have a transom doubler here. We have two rudder cheeks here and here. We have four instances of the rudder blocking lower. One, two, three, four. Four instances of the rudder blocking upper. One, two, three, four. And then bulkhead two. Whew. Up to the next sheet. This one. It's a six mil sheet. And I'm going to do sheet six. Got to do these three planks. Doing this plank was a little bit more difficult than I thought. The problem is <coughs> that the center line doesn't run parallel to the edge of the board. And maybe more importantly, the center line of the next one also doesn't run parallel to the board. I know I don't necessarily have to follow this exactly, but damned if I'm going to let them machines outthink me. I have to try and figure out where the center line should be to make them as close as possible. I had to uh, draw the center line completely wonky. You can see the two center lines here. One goes over that way, one goes over that way. And uh, I got it just right. You can see the closest they come here. Ooh, it's about 10 mil. 
And after a rather tedious time of doing this one, I realized that I can just use this and sort of like move it around a little bit, clamp it into place, and then conveniently it actually has every 300 mil already marked on it because it came off the edge of a sheet. Uh, <coughs> so I can sort of like maneuver this center line around a bit, clamp it down, and then measure off and say, oh, okay, at the uh, 2100 mark, am I like, you know, have I got enough clearance? So that's what I did. I measured it off for every, you know, 18, 15, whatever, and uh, <coughs> made sure that each of them had enough clearance from the edge of the other piece. So that was much quicker than messing around and trying to figure everything out mathematically. It's that easy.